Welcome guys, today I'm taking you to the top 10 beaches in Aruba and I'm joined by Nick and Vivian from Parpato with Envy. Hello. Hi. <laughs> uh, today we are visiting from the western part of the island. We'll start at the western part and finish at the eastern part of Aruba. And at the end of the video, I'll be giving you my ranking of the top 10. So from 10, we'll come down to the best beach in my personal opinion. Let's go. So I'm going to explain a little bit about the Arashi beach. It is a great. I do like the sand here, but at on the like the water, I do find it a little bit rocky. You will find some small pieces of rock. Some people don't like that. But mostly the water is really, really nice. The, the colors are amazing. As you saw, there is a bar and restaurant over here. There are palapas. They are putting up on the palapas for, like you can rent them. And there is some water sports here also. So we are now at our second beach, the Boca Catalina. And this one is mostly for snorkeling, mostly. We have some folks here, somewhere back here are getting in. And also you can find some of the catamarans, the boat trips, they do stop here for the snorkeling. I find this beach pretty nice. And there's also like an extended side of it on the other side. So it's a little bit rocky over here, but on that side you can find a beach also so some sand you can uh, lay down there and sunbathe among other things the water here is very very clear usually a lot of the tropical fish this is would be like the the place that you would come that's closest to the uh, high-rise hotels uh, even the low-rise hotels this is the place you want to come See how the fish are just swimming around me? They are just swimming around me just like that. So guys, we are now at the Tristrapi beach, one of my favorite beaches on Aruba because of its clear, clear, super clear waters, but also for a spe special reason. And that is that here is the beach where you will have the best chance to spot the turtles. Most of the time they're here in the morning and you would swim a little bit further up if you have your snorkel with you, of course, and you can spot them. Occasionally, you can even spot them coming out of the water a little bit and then, yeah, you would know where they are. Lately, this beach does get quite crowded because it's gotten more and more popular. And there's over there, you can uh, jump also from the cliff. 
and if we turn around over here back there you can find the Boca Catalina so they are not too far from each other you can actually swim to the other other side and do this trip uh, like in one day or one morning Beach number four is this one, the most popular beach on Aruba, the Palm Beach. Palm Beach, as I said previously, is the most popular beach here on the island of Ruba, and the reason is the high-rise hotels. That's the way we call them here. The area with the low-rise hotels, we are going next, which is the Eagle Beach. But this one is the most popular. It has the most people on the beach. The water, the sand, everything is great here. Limited snorkeling, you could snorkel, but there's not much to see but certainly with uh, the water sports this is the place you want to be like there's everything water sports uh, would leave from this area So folks, we are here now at the Eagle Beach, or what is it, our fifth stop already. What are your first impressions of uh, the Eagle Beach? Oh, uh, beyond breathtaking. Um, I know it's situated where a lot of the low-rise hotels are, as opposed to Palm Beach, but this is spectacular. And even though it's a cloudy day, or at least for the moment, yeah, we do have some clouds, it still looks fabulous. This is one of the top beaches in the world, actually and certainly one of the top beaches in Aruba. We are now checking out the Divi Beach, which is this stretch of beach going down. And if you continue walking here, you'll find also the Eagle Beach. So there's no interruption with rocks or anything. One of my, or probably the uh, most viewed video on my channel is where I started from the Tamarain, which is on this side. And I walk all the way to the Fofoti trees at the Eagle Beach. So in case you would like to see that video, I'll put the link somewhere up here you'll find the link to it. It was filmed during the lockdown, the COVID lockdown, and people just love it because it's one wide stretch of beach. Great sand, great waters. I mean, the colors are great, even with some shade. They look absolutely stunning. One of my favorite beaches here.
This is our seventh beach that we are visiting. This is the Surfside Beach next to the runway. So next to the airport's runway. And on the, like the whole day, you can see airplanes passing by over here. I used to call this like my perfect life beach because I can spot my airplanes and be on the beach, have food in the background, food, drinks, and just a general, general great beach. You can rent your uh, palapas and, and things like that over here too. Uh, the um, water sports is limited in this area, but there is there are some tours leaving from this area. I do believe some uh, uh, scuba diving tours are still leaving. Now we are at our number eight, the Mangalhato beach. Let's check it out. So even iguanas love this beach. Just a note, just a side note. So the iguana is helping me explain you guys this one. Mangalhalta to me is one of the highest ranked beaches uh, for several reasons. First of all, I like to call it like the 50 shades of blue because here standing on top of this cliff, you can definitely see uh, the, the many, many, many different shades of blue. And when the sun is shining back there, it gets, we might still have it before this section ends, but over there, it gets super clear, super wide and super cool. Snorkeling is highly recommended in this area. It is very nice. It's also kind of like compared to the baby beach in that the area over there, you can come with your, uh, you know, with your small children and it is very, very shallow waters and calm waters. This is beach number nine. We're almost there. We're almost to the last one. Rogers Beach is this one. And to me, this is one that's not often talked about, but I did make a video recently of it, uh, a walk video rather. And I walk all along the shore of Rogers Beach. Usually this beach is not as, as busy as you see it today. As you can see, there is even a boat passing by with some, some kids skiing. That's pretty cool. So right now you can see more people back here everywhere. But usually this is a very quiet beach. People prefer to go to the next door baby beach a little bit more than this one. finally arrived at our last beach for today which is the baby beach so baby beach as suggested by the name is very popular with the kids because of its shallow waters. But don't be deceived, 
back there if you do decide to go snorkeling it can get really dangerous really really fast because of the strong currents this is one of the most popular beaches in Aruba there's no doubt about that you can see how many people are here on a typical day if that's not your thing you like more of a private beach more of you know like less crowds this might not be the beach for you Okay guys, so we are now have the verdict of the top 10 beaches according to me. But first we are going to check out what they thought of the beaches and which one they found to be the number one, two, three at least. They might not remember all of the names, but I tried to help them. I do have the names right here and I do have my ranking. But before we get that, what did you guys think about the beaches? Well, I mean, they're all a top 10 in my eyes but um, we, we are staying at the Palm Beach and are, of yeah. course Eagle Beach is well known and we were amazed by it uh, but Mangal Halto, if I'm pronouncing it right yeah. <laughs> is something that everyone should visit and everyone would be absolutely uh, amazed when they uh, see what we've seen now I love the diversity and, and how different it was to go to Tres Trapi Beach. That you have to go down those stairs and go into the water, see some sea turtles, absolutely amazing. And of course, you know, the seven shades of blue. Gotta go and experience <laughs> that. So I'll have my top 10 now, starting with number 10. I have the Surfside Beach. Okay, I'm gonna just go over the names and not go over the details as I have uh, previously in the video. So Surfside Beach at number 10. At number nine, I have, sorry to say, Tres Trapi. No! <laughs> I love that beach a lot, but there are different reasons why I have not chosen it as a higher ranking. Uh, it's one of the beaches that I go a lot, uh, definitely, and, and enjoy it totally. At number eight, I have the Boca Catalina. I think the snorkeling there is great. There's a little bit of more of a stretch of beach if you want to be sunbathing apart from just the swimming. At number seven, I have Arashi, which is also a great beach. That's the, our first stop. Beautiful beach. And let's see, at number six, I have the Baby Beach. <laughs> um, uh, most people would expect that one to be higher ranked. Uh, the reason is that maybe it's just a personal thing, but I don't like uh, it being too crowded. Yeah. Uh, apart from that, it, the beach itself is really, really good. I mean, that's the only really complaint you could have about Baby Beach, yeah. Yeah. mostly. Um, so then, let's see, number five, I have the Rogers Beach that's just next door. Just about a, a really good beach and like maybe the surprise in this top ten. That you would not really expect my ranking to put it at number five mm. number four i have the mangal halto and <laughs> i mean like that was difficult Come to put on, it at roll. number four <laughs> that was difficult but yeah i it was super difficult to make this list uh number three let's see number three i do have the palm beach and yes. again why number three well i think it's a wonderful beach with great hotels and everything it does get a little bit crowded uh, at, uh, during some periods and yeah that's why but uh, otherwise uh, you couldn't go wrong with palm beach uh, okay anytime. should we do a drum roll so a drum roll <laughs> at number two you might be missing one that you have not mentioned the dv beach <gasps> oh yes the yes. dv beach beautiful i think beautiful. it's a beautiful beautiful beach it's got great sand and everything so that's definitely number two in my my eyes and of course the number one the eagle beach eagle beach i think eagle for the beach. most part even though we do have our um favorites i tell them you cannot really go wrong with eagle beach it has just about everything you need right there true enough very very true take it from a local hiro knows he does <laughs> he does uh it's been a, a incredible experience and you need to uh 
do it as well and get to Aruba as soon as possible. <laughs> so you guys can invite you your um, so you do have the name here of guys course, we are but... Nick and Viv from Perpado with Envy we are from Toronto Canada uh, we do some travel vlogs uh, uh, please check out our channel please like share subscribe comment you're gonna see some uh, content going up with Hiro here in Aruba uh, we welcome you and uh, we thank you, uh, Hiro, again, and uh, guys, thank thanks for watching. So much, Hiro. And thank you also to you guys. It's been a really, really fun day in Toronto, <laughs> yeah. Ryan, no doubt about it. And it's a great way to make friends that uh, as we say, like instant friends almost, right? So, instant family. <laughs> That's it. That's so, it. nothing further for this one. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye, guys. <laughs>